a legacy imperative, we repeatedly warn that winning the argument and losing the person is a hollow victory. I'm not even sure it's a victory at all. We aren't equipping you to score debate points or to overwhelm others with factoids. The end game of our dialogues with our next generation loved ones is to tear down walls that separate, to remove stumbling blocks that keep people from the faith and to build gospel bridges to Jesus. So what are the keys to our discussions on reproductive health issues? Number one, live the truth. Our next generation loved ones watch our walk more than they listen to our talk. Pro-choicers live by the mantra, my body, my choice. Followers of Jesus live by St. Paul's dictum, you are not your own, you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. Now, Jesus not only told the truth, he was the truth. He embodied everything he said in every area of his life. So our kids have to see us live out. Our body belongs to God and we do whatever is his choice. Key number two, pay the price. Why was Jesus rejected, canceled and crucified? Because he was a clear and present danger to the culture of his day. Now our kids may not always agree with our convictions, but they have to see us being willing to pay the price for our convictions. If we only talk a good game, but they never see us play the game in a way where we leave everything on the field, they're not gonna respect our stand. So what actions are you willing to take to promote life, especially if it exacts a cost? Nothing transforms others more than watching transformative people taking heroic stands. Number three, disagree without being disagreeable. St. Peter calls us to give reasonable answers for our hope, but he calls us to do it with gentleness and respect. Angry arguments seldom change anyone. We at Legacy Imperative often say, when fighting dragons, we must be careful not to become dragons ourselves. Carnal weapons don't win spiritual battles. There is a Holy Spirit and we aren't Him. Key number four, let Jesus do His work. Our job is to share the truth. His is to change minds. And that takes all the pressure off of us in any discussion. Jesus may only want us to plant a seed or water it or remove some stumbling blocks or pull some weeds, but He alone produces the fruit. We don't have to get angry, frustrated, or defensive if people disagree with us. Nor do we have to close the deal in every discussion. Our job is to present Jesus, and His is to transform people. Key number five, point to Jesus. Whenever possible, our end game is always to lead people to consider a relationship with our Savior and Lord. What should it profit others? If we can get them to buy our faith values, but they lose their souls. Think of creative ways that Jesus and a relationship with Him makes a difference in what we're talking about. To see how I've done that, look at video seven in our series on God and evil or the Bible and science. Bringing the unborn to birth is a good thing, but bringing those who were born to a new birth is the ultimate thing. Who could want more for their loved ones? than to spend eternity with them.